totally logical and there's nothing to memorize as such okay all right so we are going through this logic of um, how to set the stock where should we set the stock all right so this bank that we are researching is yes bank okay so your decision here is you look at the long term so you should always go to money control okay enter the ticker in this here search for quotes okay whatever access bank yes bank whatever just name enter the name of the bank and the ticker will come up just click on it and it will open this kind of thing then go to advanced chart and click on max okay so max you see all the data okay so you can see all the data from july 2005 to 2019 now you get the long-term perspective on the chart now you see the stock is falling okay mm -hmm. so uh, it's going here now you've decided to buy all right mm -hmm. so now let me ask you this question now if we just zoom into this part of it the last part of it okay mm -hmm. uh, because we can't see any detail here what you can do is if you want here at this point mm -hmm. i'm getting a setting option to change the type i would like to show a bar chart but anyway never mind so even if we show uh, let's say a six month chart say seven or one year chart that last part is zoomed into right see this max here you see this point from here around 280 or something <coughs> 275 280 this level okay april basically april 19 high in yes bank the last major high from which is declining right now so we want to zoom into this part of the trend now that's what we're trying to do okay so all these d's are dividends okay now what we do is you want to zoom into that last part this is what you see if you zoom in but even this is not sufficient sufficient uh, you know intraday data so that's why i said the approach in india stock should be to use money control for long-term data for long-term charts because they have very good long-term data using max and all that but for intraday data you need to for, for this kind of to be able to see greater detail over here you need to use this you set up your own trading on trading view Mm. set up your own id okay and then you can do exactly what i'm doing right so here we enter as yes bank and we get this okay so now you look at it though this is a 15 minute chart all right so here you can see that entire decline coming from 284 levels april okay you can see this here this is april so this is coming from that april high you can see the finer detail of this mm. this is a 15 minute chart which means it's capturing data every 15 minutes so you can see much greater detail than you can see on this chart mm. because this is a daily chart daily chart okay so therefore the detail is not so you won't get much detail but here you can see a great deal of detail now now here's the question how will you set the stop now here's where it becomes all logical okay now you look at this kind of a chart and you decide it is your decision to buy not to sell mm. okay all right so if your decision is to buy so one thing you can see clearly is that there is a long downtrend going on from here yes at least the latest phase of the downtrend from april 2019 april is going on yes. now. now if i see that you have decided to buy then what can i conclude about your view about the downtrend what is the status of the downtrend according to you because i see that you are actually buying so in your opinion okay is the downtrend over or is it not yet over it's over it's over, it's over. correct because your action is to buy yes because if you thought that the downtrend is not over you would not be buying because not. then it's going to go down further then yes. you'll buy it lower so you're a rational person so you are but because you're buying straight away i can conclude from your action from observing your action or your intention i can see that you we you believe that the downtrend is over yes okay so that means if the downtrend is over that means uh, it's not going to continue further down yes okay uh, the, the downtrend is over now if uh, now so that this is your view that the downtrend is over and that's why you're buying mm. okay now what is the stock the objective of the stock what is the objective of the stock is to decrease the loss decrease the loss but effectively what does it do it takes you out of your position, out of position. position yes. it removes your position removes okay the so if you if your view is uh, if your decision is to buy then when you uh, actually buy what will be your position long or short no. no position will be long okay so now the stop should be something which removes your position and takes you back to a square short, position yes. okay so what should the stop actually do the stop transaction the stops order when it is executed it should what is what is the action below 
No, no. What is the action in the stop order? Will it be a selling action or selling. be a buying option? Selling. Selling action because yes. you have already bought. Yeah. Now it has to remove yeah. the objective of the stop is to remove, remove your position. Your position so therefore, it has to be the reverse action. It has to be a sell action. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, the second thing is you have bought based on the assumption that the downtrend is over. Yes. Okay. So logically, when should you exit your position when your assumption is proved wrong? Wrong. Wrong. Okay. Wrong. When your assumption is proved wrong. Yes. Okay. Now, in this case, what happens? Where? What is the earliest? Uh, warning that you will get assuming that you are looking here you have to fine tune the degree of movement that yes. you are looking at okay what because there are many degrees of movement on this chart no, I could no. just look at uh, this high and this low I could ignore this movement okay I could say that I'm not interested in this movement from here to here I could ignore this movement I say I'm not interested so you fix the degree of movement okay so if we say that that you have to always fix for yourself that is subjective okay. but once you fix it you should try to maintain it okay so if I fix this degree of movement then I say that okay this is one low then there's a high it's still going on from the top okay mm -hmm. one low there's a high then there's another low mm -hmm. lower low okay then there's another high it's and probably here another. and then there's another low yeah. so I can see this pattern of low lower lows going on yes. lower highs going on yes okay then after this low then there's another high okay after this low there's this high then there's another lower low mm. and there's another high but the high is also lower than the previous, the high. previous high okay this is also lower than the previous high yes right so it's maintaining the pattern of a downtrend yes now and then there's another low here yes and now you go in and buy at 18 so at this point now let us zoom into this okay mm. we will zoom in okay scroll scroll up it will yeah. zoom in let's say this price is 80 it's actually it's a 79, 79. let's say let's say 79 okay, okay and so now this is the lowest low so far yes okay now now you have gone long okay yes. now now the question is where would you set your stop yes okay the general principle of the answer is you have gone long based on a certain assumption yes. that the downtrend is over. is over so logically you should exit your position which means your stop trigger level mm -hmm. okay the wherever the stop is we call it the stop trigger level okay at whatever price you set the stop okay if you remember when you saw that uh, if you go back to the video that i made on tcs mm -hmm. you'll see that i decide a level i read off a level read from the chart exactly and i enter that as the stop trigger, stop level. trigger level okay so the stop trigger level is basically the level uh, beyond which the stop gets triggered mm -hmm. if the market travels below that beyond that level then could be beyond uh, below yeah. or above then yeah. the stop gets triggered yes. okay right so now logically you went long based on a certain assumption mm. so if your assumption is proved to be wrong, wrong. Then, then you should no longer maintain your position yes okay so you should exit your position yes. so that's where so basically your stop trigger level should be at the point at which where uh, at which your assumption is proved to be wrong Okay. Are you following so yes, far? Follow. Is it logical? Yeah. Okay. Now, what is the point? <coughs> because we have defined a down, because your assumption is that the downtrend is not yet over. That is uh, sorry. Your assumption is that the downtrend is over. Yes. Okay. So if I can show through the market's action, or if the market shows to you that the downtrend is not yet over, mm -hmm. that the downtrend is continuing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then uh, it proves that your assumption is wrong. Yes. Okay. Now, if the market, this is a low, this is a low from which there is a uh, jump up here. Yes. The market has jumped here. Yes. Okay. Now, if now after you buy at eighty nine thirty, mm. if the market goes and drops again below this latest low of seventy nine, which we had, it goes. If it goes below seventy nine, if okay. it goes below, let's call this seventy nine. Okay, okay. At this point. Okay. Let's call this seventy nine. The seventeen July. Uh, low. low okay hmm. let's call this uh, 79 hmm. let's assume it's 79 round numbers so now it's around 89 and you're bought at 89 hmm. okay after 79 it jumped up a little bit to around 94 let's say now it is around 89 yes now you decide to buy at 89 because you your view is that the downtrend, downtrend is, over. is over okay but if the market after you buy if the market immediately drops below 79 hmm. then what has the market actually made it has made a new lower low new lower low and this high of 94 becomes the highest point from which the new low is made yes okay uh, so therefore what happens is you had this high and you make a lower high and then you make again a lower low hmm. 
which means you are exhibiting, exhibiting all the properties of a downtrend mm. which means the downtrend is not yet over mm. so the earliest warning that you get that the downtrend is not over is when the market drops below the lowest low so far so we should sell this is clear yeah, are you following the logic yes because the, the moment it drops below this again that means it's continuing to maintain this pattern of lower lows and lower highs. lower highs yes it is continuing to maintain this yes. pattern so this is immediately giving you a warning that your assumption is wrong mm. it is proving to you that your assumption is wrong mm. is this clear yes okay so this is where your stock should be so you mean to say that our stock should be uh, below below 79 yeah so 79 here in indian stocks we are trading at five pesos yeah. so you can put it if assuming that the actual low is 79 mm. okay so it has to break the actual low okay, okay? so uh, this is what i follow some people put it at the same level but this is something you can refine okay, okay? that um, and you can refine in many ways traded by, uh, like a, a good quality software like ib tws gives you many options hmm. whether you want to place you want the trigger to be activated on bid basis huh. or, or on offer, offer basis offer or on basis. traded basis okay. so you can activate it on three you know, suppose it's 78 9 hmm. okay suppose 79 is the actual low is low so far mm. okay then i would put my trigger at 78.95 because these stocks are trading on 5 rupee uh, tick size is 5 rupees okay okay so the next price will be 78.95 okay so now i'll put it at seven now once i put it 79 78.95 ib will give you other we don't need to go into that level of refinement at this point you can just take the defaults but actually there's another level of refinement there which is that do you want 78.95 to be watched on a Traded basis or a bid basis or a offer basis. Offer. You can refine that also in good quality software, in sophisticated software like the TWS, they give you all three options. So I can say that you activate this. The trigger is basically the uh, the push to the system to activate the order. Okay. So uh, I can say 78.95 offered, which means the ask price has to go to 78.95. Or I can say 78.95 bid, or I can say 78.95 traded. Traded. All three are possible. Okay. So essentially, uh, this is a refinement. But I think in general, it is safe to go to traded basis and just below. Which means in this case, I would place the order. If 79 is the actual low, I would place the order at 78.95 traded. So the moment 78.95 trades, that is uh, conclusive proof. Okay. In the Indian Evidence Act, we have something called conclusive proof. Okay. So uh, this is conclusive proof that uh, the downtrend is still continuing because a new low has been made. That means lower lows are continuing. Mm -hmm. That means the downtrend is still in progress. Still in progress. So this is a conclusive proof that your assumption is wrong. So this is where your stop should be. So in actual practice, what you will do is you will try to read off the value. You will ballpark locate the low or the high whatever it is and then in actual fact what you have to do is you just zoom out zoom out like this then you go here and then you just put the if you just position the cursor you can see how the cursor is moving mm -hmm. and you can see these figures coming on top here yes. okay in actual practice this is how you do it like when i set stops for my trades i do it this way i would read off the high low okay now i position the cursor just on that low can you see that? Yes, mm -hmm. I can see. So it is reading a low of 79.15. You can see that. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Yes. It is reading, reading a low of 79.15. Yeah. So in this case, I would place my stop at 79.10. Because at 10, that means 15 is broken. Oh, okay. Not at 79.15. Because at 79.15, it's not a lower low. It's it is the same low. It is the same low. Okay. It is not lower. It is not lower. It, it is in the same. Uh, it's not lower. Basically, it's not lower. Okay. Okay. What? So lower is only seventy nine ten because here we are dealing in five rupee increments. Actually, five by side. Is this clear? Yes. So now you have the logic. Yes. Okay. Now you can make a lot of money. Hopefully. <laughs> Good. Okay. okay. All Thank right. you. Okay. Welcome. So this also I'll upload. Yeah. Uh, setting stops. So this will be under this topic will be, will be a short video called so setting stops, setting stops. right? Yeah. How to set stops. Thank you. Okay. All right.
so please make sure everybody is practicing because from next week your actual trading will start please make sure everybody gets enough practice but don't you think that currently the market is going in a downtrend only so downtrend so who is stopping you from selling but then we are we are just started and we are initially buying and selling no, no actually selling there is a problem because a lot of the because time short shortable stock is not available yeah but in that case you have to just, uh, just refrain from loss. buying no no the best thing you, if you feel the market is declining yes overall every stock will not be declining yeah okay but if you feel the market is declining then ideally you should be able to sell but in the market is not so liquid and short selling is not so well developed yes so you may not be able to sell yeah in that case the next best option for you is to refrain from buying okay stay in cash stay in cash this is what equity fund managers would say or okay. even bond fund managers can say this sometimes that uh, people will talk about the cash portion of the portfolio so generally if they don't have a strong view or if they feel that they can only go long and the market is going to decline mm. then they'll move 100% into cash extreme case okay. because i feel the market is going to stop the uh, market is going to drop and i don't uh, have the option of going short so i'll do the next best thing that i will not buy anything so i am in 100% cash so you should perform better than someone who is buying stock yeah so that's your next best option that's why us uh, uh, the developed markets like the us are better because you get much more many more shortable that stocks you get a much bigger set of shortable stocks mm -hmm. shorting here is not very considered very uh, you know the regulators don't like it so they have tended not to the so shorting has not developed basically in the indian market so anyway this is one of the problems okay all right so in general as a as a general principle you are learning this here you may have a particular project problem in this particular project mm. but as a general principle uh, if you are a speculator you should not really care whether the market is going down or up why because you can if because you feel the market is going down you can go short you can go short in a developed market you will be able to go short yeah in many other markets like futures any kind of futures are type of instrument mm. but if you're trading for instance if you're trading uh, equity index futures mm. if you're feeling like uh, in this case uh, you know you can uh, you can actually go i'll give you the option of let me check the the nifty cash the nifty can also be traded as a cash so i don't know whether they'll have an option of shorting that we have to check that okay. but as a general principle you should be able to go short okay so you should not be worried about whether the market is going up or down as a speculator later as, as a general principle in, in all markets in all markets so there will be some markets where we will go short so you form a bearish view and go short okay. in this case like in the case of yes bank let's yeah. say assuming that there is shortable stock available in yes bank mm -hmm. what would you do here if you reverse the logic Okay, let's do this exercise and complete the this will make the video more meaningful it'll complete most of the you come back to this side and have a look at the chart in this case if i wanted to have the opposite view okay that is suppose instead of feeling that i i'm going to buy mm -hmm. i want to go short go short if i want to go short then what can you conclude about my view about the status of the downtrend is it over or is not over it's over no. no it's not over sorry it's not over yeah if i my my inclination is to go short that means my view about the status of the downtrend is that is not over it's not over yeah okay so on the basis of that view and that assumption i go short okay now yeah. where will i place the stop Can you point out point out you point out with your finger then i'll point out with the uh with the cursor i'm going yeah. short at 89.15 okay yeah now uh, where should i put my stop i was which one the current i was at here right here okay. yeah you're saying here yeah okay so that's where my stop should be yeah clear yeah okay so what is the time oh ajar um okay fine no problem to 247 okay so you're saying this should be the stop yes. right okay and what is your logic for choosing whatever this number is let's say it's 108 or something 
let's say it's 108 mm -hmm. okay roughly now but you have identified the point correctly yeah. okay but what is your logic the for logic putting the stop here can you explain the logic the logic is that uh, we are saying that the downtrend is over so it will no. go up we are saying in this case i am going i am trying to go short i just give you this example now now your discussion is over hmm. now we are having another discussion about my view is when i look at this chart my view is that i want to go short when yeah. i look at this chart my view is that you want to i want short. to go short yeah so you already answered the first question and response to the uh, 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 the first follow up question is that given that you know that i want to go short what can you conclude about my view on the status of the downtrend is my question clear yeah i got your question the status of if the i want to go short that means what am i thinking about the status of the downtrend is it over or is it not over it's over no it's not over sorry it's not over it's that's not why over. i'm going short yeah it's not over that means it's going to keep on going keep down keep on going down further so that's, that's why, why i'm going, going short. short yeah okay yeah so if my view is that the status of the downtrend is not over and the, on the back of it's like an assumption basically mm -hmm. okay everything is an assumption okay all your views everything is an assumption all your cash flows and npv analysis capital budgeting everything is a giant bunch of assumptions basically everything is an assumption okay because you don't know what's going to actually happen all right okay so my view is that it's my assumption is that the downtrend is not yet over mm. and on the basis of that assumption i go short mm. okay now where should i place my stop you have correctly identified it yes the stop should be here let's yes. call it 108 okay. okay now explain to me logically why it should be this high and I'm telling you from before that these are the um, highs and lows I'm considering. There's a big down here. The magnitude of movement I'm looking at is this one low here, high here, low here, high here, low, high, low. These are the magnitude of moves I'm considering. What yes. I mean by that is that I'm not considering this Small high, low, movement, high, yeah, low. Not no, considering. I'm not considering. This yeah. is the degree of movement I'm looking at. Yes. Now, given that uh, qualification, now you have correctly identified this point yeah. that this is where my stop should be yes. if i go short yes now explain to me logic now i'm looking for the logical answer from you now i want the logic what is the logic give me the stepwise logic for why you chose that point as the right stop level for me if uh, if you see the graph mm. uh, like you you were explaining the movements mm. so so coming back from coming from high low high, high low, low high, and high low so that's low. the highest high before going low <laughs> okay no I'm your confused. language is not correct yeah, my that's the lowest is, high yeah that's, that's lowest, okay yeah. you can get confused in language but yeah. i understand visually what you're trying to say yeah that is the lowest high from which a new low has been made yes that is what we should yes. say okay yeah. that is the lowest high from which a new low has been made yes. and more more importantly what happens what information is the market giving me if the market as soon as i go short at 89 right. let's say the market immediately rises above 108 goes to 112 120 120 etc yes that means it breaks above this 108 yes okay as soon as the market breaks above this 108 what evidence has the market given me that about my assumption regarding the status of the downtrend what was my assumption about the status of the downtrend that it's not over yet. that it's not your over yet. yes but as soon as the market rises above 108, 108. without making a new low mm. okay this low was 78 or 79 mm. okay so does not make a new low after i go short at 89 so the market doesn't make a new low huh. the moment it goes above this it proves that my assumption about the status of the downtrend was wrong yes correct yes because it breaks the pattern of the moment it makes a higher high yeah what happens here the moment this high this was the lowest high so far yes okay now if my assumption was correct it should have stopped here and mm. then gone down below gone this down more. Yeah. it said what does it do it, it goes and makes it, a it high makes a higher, higher than high. 108 yeah so it makes a higher high which means yeah. it breaks the pattern of lower highs lower highs okay yes. so the moment it breaks the pattern of lower highs 
it invalidates my assumption yes that the downtrend is not, not complete complete yeah my assumption was that downtrend was not complete yeah right yeah so it breaks that assumption yes. it, i mean it invalidates that assumption yeah clear yes so that's why the stop should be here and because logically if i have done something based on a certain based on certain assumptions mm -hmm. okay that is i've got short based on an assumption that the downtrend is incomplete mm -hmm. is still going on mm -hmm. the moment i get evidence that my assumption was invalid mm -hmm. then i should try to reverse that action yes okay yes. i have no more i no longer have justification for doing that yes so that's why the stop is here and what does the stop do it takes me out of it my position it takes you out of the position it removes again once yeah, again it takes squares. me back to a square book yeah if that was the only trade i had that goes takes me back to a square book so my actions therefore my uh, the status of my book is consistent with my view now i don't have a view anymore because i had a view that it was going down but now that view is that view invalidated is wrong, yeah. so immediately after this i don't have a immediate view now i have to again re again research regroup and, and redo my analysis Fine. is this clear yes. now you understand logically yes. so it's more important to understand logically that you have also visually identified which yeah, is correct yeah visually actually i am able to identify uh -huh. but i am unable to express in words you have to be able to do it also yeah. you, because you are an mba student yeah. okay you are not a layman yeah so it is not sufficient to be able to just do it just do it yeah you have to also be True. able to right justify yeah. justify why is it why are you doing this and your communication obviously has to be clear yeah so you have to be able to clearly justify all these things correct yeah. but you have understood this yes. so you have learned something in this session yes okay good thank you out of class session yeah thank okay, you good okay so i'm putting up the please put a note that everybody should watch this so that they are also clear thank about all this thank okay thanks and revise all this so go through all this logic yeah if you don't revise it multiple times you will it will not yeah, go into your I'm going through the videos every day. Mm. So uh, the thing I've uh, figured it out is that I understand the concept, but when I actually start writing, like I, I figure it out again here, and then I go wrong in words. Mm. Uh, so so it will yeah. come with practice. Come with practice. That's Everything what comes I mean. with practice. Yeah. Okay, Sunil so Gavaskar didn't just emerge like that uh, in that yeah. state. No, it is like hours and hours of practice. Everything yes. comes with practice. Yeah. So that's Nothing why in practicing. life works without practice. Yeah. Okay. So I even practice even sometimes when the market is not working. So even I practice on laptop the ticker and how it actually how it should be how uh -huh. the graph is on. So that I will learn. So everything is with yeah. practice. So yeah. practice is very important. Yeah. Because these are all new things. So yes. if you don't practice, it will not get internalized. Yeah, because the language is uh, initially a little technical for me. Mm. So I will learn. Yeah. No, it is technical. That's why yeah. you have to practice. Yes. And then it will get once you get it internalized. Yeah. Then you don't have to do it anymore. It will yeah. be natural. Yeah. Okay. Clear. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.